Dear viewers, today I will talk to you about Toyota M0 The Toyota IMV0 concept is a two-seat electric pickup truck with a configurable flatbed section. The IMV0 is intended to be customized to individual users' needs. In Toyota's renderings preview the possibilities. You sit bolt upright in the IMV0, your chair fixed directly to the back of the cab. That's right, there is no commodious crew cab arrangement here, just a compartment big enough to fit two humans, an abbreviated dashboard, and the bare minimum of inputs required to pilot the thing. If you're the sort who loathes touchscreen controls, you'll love the IMV0. It doesn't have a touchscreen at all, nor much in the way of other controls. No automatic climate system here because the base IMV0 doesn't even have heat. It's designed primarily for Thailand and other developing markets where ambient temperatures aren't expected to be lacking. Air conditioning, however, comes standard. Just roll down either of the two windows. Yes, with a hand crank dot climb up into the driver's seat, no power running boards here to help, and you're presented with the bare essentials in the gauge cluster. You won't find any information about active safety systems. The IMV0 doesn't have any, nor ABS, nor airbags. There's no fancy trip computer here, no trailer monitoring system. You just have a few warning lights in the speedometer, and that's it. Thankfully, there's not much in the way of sound deadening material between you and the 137 horsepower, 2.0 liter inline 4 under the hood, so you won't miss the tachometer. Plastics are hard and shiny everywhere you look, and the lack of a radio was a very conscious decision. According to one of the development engineers, aftermarket audio is so common in Thailand that anything Toyota installed would have just been yanked out anyway. The result is the absolute minimum for a modern car, a space that actually deserves the Spartan cliché we automotive journalists summon so often. I first saw the INV0 sitting in the sun in the infield of Toyota's sprawling Shimiyama test complex. I twisted the ignition and heard that four-banger drone into life without much fanfare. I reached for the knob on the end of the floor-mounted shifter and moved it through its extent. It offered the kind of imprecision you'd expect given its length, each of its five forward gears providing only a vague resistance. The IMV0 had been parked immediately behind Toyota's EV with a fake manual transmission, a one-of-one -one prototype that I didn't want to hit, so I selected reverse to make a little room before moving forward. I needn't say that there's no rear-view camera to help, but with A and B pillars offering twig-like girth, plus the IMV0's manageable dimensions, moving the truck through the pit area full of priceless prototypes was a breeze. The sidewalls on the IMV0 are so generous that you can aim for the curbs. I swerved from lane to lane, laughing all the while. The truck didn't feel unsteady, never threatening to tip over or lose control. I was driving this thing flat out at a reasonable speed, and it didn't feel the least flustered. From a food truck to an off-roader to a rescue vehicle, the IMV0 concept is a build-your-own truck. The Toyota IMV0 concept is basically a blank canvas for customers to transform into whatever they need it to be. The Honda Ridgeline-sized pickup truck has an electric powertrain, a two-door cabin with seating for two people, and a flatbed section that can be outfitted with myriad setups. While Toyota hasn't released any information about the IMV0's powertrain, the automaker has shared details about its dimensions. Without any add-ons, the truck measures 208.7 inches long. It's also 70.3 inches wide and 68.5 inches tall. There's 121.5 inches between its axles, meaning its wheelbase is about as long as the full-size Toyota Sequoia SUV. Toyota will showcase the IMV0 concept at the Tokyo Auto Show. However, it's unclear if it'll only be the stripped-down truck or if it'll be accompanied by physical versions of the various renderings Toyota has released. For example, there's one representation that is a Red Cross rescue vehicle equipped with an ambulance-like rear section. Others show the IMV0 configured as a delivery vehicle with packages on the back, one that looks like a sport truck with brightly colored accents, and another with what appears to be a futuristic camper. There are also renderings of the IMV0 as a miniature food truck, which likely entices small businesses looking for alternatives to refurbished school buses and such. Our favorite rendering of what the Toyota IMV0 concept can be is the baby off-roader. The handsome-looking thing is outfitted with oversized tires, a beefy front bumper with auxiliary lighting, a bed-mounted roof rack, and an additional cabin section, presumably for extra seating. 